One of my favourite passages in the New Testament comes from Paul, St Paul, from his second letter to Timothy. I'd like to share it with you. I have not lost confidence because I know who it is that I have put my trust in. And I have no doubt at all that he is able to take care of all that I have entrusted to him until that day. Keep as your pattern the sound teaching you have heard from me in the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. You have been trusted to look after something precious. Guard it with the help of the Holy Spirit who lives in us. I knew that was one of my favourite passages from Paul. And when on the eve of my ordination of, as a bishop, I was asked to choose a little saying from Holy Scripture to place on the back of the ordination card that would be given to everybody who had attended that special ordination mass. I was pretty certain that I wanted this passage. I know who it is I have put my trust in. But being a cautious man, I thought, let me just check that there isn't perhaps another text of Paul that I would like even more. So I went back to my favourite collection of all the writings of Paul, a little book that I had worked through conscientiously and with much joy during the year of Paul a few years ago. I went through it in my prayer time with a, a pencil in one hand and a book in the other, marking those passages which meant most to me. And then I spent about a year going back to each of those passages and praying them and I really felt that I got to know Paul so much more intimately because I hadn't only read him but I had prayed him and I had prayed with him. So I went through the whole of the collection of markings that I'd made several years ago in this book and you'll be amused to know as I was amused to realise that it was still this passage, I know who it is that I've put my trust in that I wanted on the back of my prayer card. And then it was a few weeks later on the eve of my ordination as a bishop that an amusing thought came to me again in prayer when I was just preparing myself for the extraordinary grace of the prospect of being ordained as a bishop the next day. And I found myself remembering back to the eve of my ordination as a deacon some 30, 31 years ago from now. And I remembered having a spiritual conversation with my spiritual director. And he had said to me at the end of that, of the end of that chat, I want you, before you go to bed, to pray the nearly final words of the Te Deum. In you, Lord, we put our trust. In you, Lord, we put our trust. The Lord was and is clearly telling me something about my need to trust more deeply. It's not, and it's not just the Lord, it's Paul himself. So I'd like to share with you again this passage. I have not lost confidence because I know who it is that I have put my trust in. And I have no doubt at all that he is able to take care of all that I have entrusted to him until that day. Keep as your pattern the sound teaching you have heard from me in the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. You have been trusted to look after something precious. Guard it with the help of the Holy Spirit who lives in us. St Paul, pray for us.